It's Game 2 of the Atlantic Division Finals from Scotiabank Center, and the Hurricanes are looking to bounce back after suffering their first loss of the postseason at the hands of the Storm. We start off with some great ball movement from Halifax, Tyrone Watson to CJ Washington, 4-2. Al Richter with a spin move along the baseline, and he gets this one to crawl over the rim. Later in the quarter, Richter jumps the passing lane, forcing the steal, and gets the easy lane. Tyrone Watson with the hoop and the harm, and shows off his muscles for the fans. Jahee Carson doesn't get the shot to drop, but Terrell Baines is there to clean up the mess. With his team trailing in the fourth, Joey Haywood is all fired up after hitting this jumper and getting fouled in the process. Billy White had a great game, and here he is scoring two of his game-high 26 points. Plus, he gets the harm. Akeem Ellis looks to create separation between his squad and the Surgeon Canes, and he hits this and one. Fast forward to the dying seconds of the game, Halifax trails by three with possession. So Coach Leslie puts the ball in the hands of Cliff Klingscales to make something happen. Zone. Blake Scales for three. Yes! Oh! Cliff Scales prayer answers! Oh! Woo! Oh! I'm gonna throw a Ric Flair one in there. Huge three, the biggest three of his career I'd say right now. That three would force an overtime frame and Halifax would take total control. Captain Clink would hit another three. Joey Haywood would force a steal and score at the other end. And then with the game all tied up, Clink would nail another tough basket. That was a great offensive play by Captain Clink, but his night would be capped at the defensive end when he forces a steal, gets a stop, much to the delight of the Scotiabank faithful. Halifax would go on to win 122-118 to even up the series at one game apiece as the scene now shifts to Charlottetown for the next two. It's only fitting that Vince Williams catches up with none other than Captain Clink as part of the post-game recap. It's your NBL Canada post-game recap. Welcome fans inside Scotiabank Centre for the National Basketball League of Canada post-game recap. The Halifax Hurricanes win game number two versus the Island Storm of the Atlantic Division Final. I'm here with the player of the game of the Halifax Hurricanes, Cliff Clinscales. Cliff, the game was in the balance in the fourth quarter. You guys battled back through some injuries, through some guys that fouled out down the stretch, but you were able to get it done, knocking down a huge three ball with 4.8 seconds left. Take us through that. What did you see when you knocked down that shot? Uh, well, Coach drove up a play on our um, out-of-bounds play, and we figured they was going to switch, and we got the ball of Billy White, and I kind of came down for down screen of somebody. I'm not sure who cut through. And uh, they kind of switched out real fast. Ellis got me, and then when I got the ball, I took a little dribble, and I think Torrey's supposed to switch maybe. I'm not sure it was. He was a little late. I got a little space, and I just took the shot. And speak a little bit about the defense that has been played by the Island Storm. They've been playing a lot of 3-2 zone, not a lot of man-to-man, -man, and then that opportunity when you're able to knock down that shot, was it a saving grace that they switched to that man-to-man uh, -man off defense and not that 3-2 zone? Uh, well, they, they zone been giving us a little problem. we got to watch film and uh, get back to the drawing board on that. Um, well, we got two key players out right now that's real big to what we do, and they our best two shooters, so... I think that's a great job of them by making adjustments. But I think we have figured out it was a long series. And as long as we keep moving the ball in the zone and keep our space, and I think we'd be fine. And a little bit about that long series. you got games three and four back over at the East Link Center in their house. Right. What do you see happening over there when you guys play in that building? Uh, well, we just got to worry about us. We got to um, watch the game film and get better. We know their play's going to be rocking. Um, they came here and did what they're supposed to do on the road by getting one. So now we got to go back and try to get one in their building. And I think we played pretty good on the road. We're a pretty good road team. So long we come to play and play together, I think we'd be fine. Thanks for this, Cliff, and good, good luck the rest of the way. All right, thank you.